Oh, big old spider web. Ow, it's in my ear. Oh. Well, guys, it's nice and early in the morning. On a Saturday morning. We're doing us some crick fishing. I'm surprised this crick is as muddy as it is. It hasn't rained for a few days. But we're gonna, I'm just stopping at this spot here. It looked a little juicy. Um, but we're gonna get in the crick here and do some wading. It's gotta be a bass out there somewhere. I'm getting hammered. I don't know if it's like chub minnows or what. But whatever it is, I think it's too small to catch. But we are getting hammered. So I got the light action set up out. Fishing a gulp minnow with a, uh, oh, that was a fish. <laughs> I could all get hooked up to nothing here. Anyways, um, trout magnet jig head, light action rod, 1000 series reel. I have six pound braid with a four pound fluoro leader on and i'm struggling to we just started and i tell you what i'm getting a million bites but we ain't brought nothing in yet we're shooting for smallmouth rock bass pretty much anything that bites but i'd like to get a couple couple small mouths hooked up here got him There's one, a little small mouth. If there's little ones in there, hopefully there's big ones in there. Got him. Ooh. Look at that pretty sunfish. Wow. He's worth a picture. All right. He's a little guy, but beautiful. So, so far we got a smallmouth and a sunfish. Wonder what else we can pull out of this creek today. All right. Let's go ahead and mosey on up the creek here a little bit. This section of creek I've never fished before, so we're just exploring right now. On Google Maps, it looked like there might be some holes up here we can hit. That's a good fish. All right. I thought I was on a rock there for a second. That is not a bad small mouth at all. All right. We'll take him. <laughs> Get you on hook, boy. He wasn't hooked very good at all. All right, let's get him back in the water.
There you go. Right back up in the hole. And I think... Well, I got me minnows out. I'm going to put a new goat minnow on. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's try to... Just reverse him. Go underneath. I might have to put my glasses on to make this happen. I think we got it. Yep, good enough. That'll catch fish. So I don't know how well the camera picks up this crick size and all that to put it in perspective, but it's only 30 feet wide, 40 feet wide maybe. And I can't tell from the angle I'm at, but it doesn't look like we ain't no more than three feet deep up here where I caught him. Did I get that one? Yep. It's too little to tell. Ain't not bad. <clears throat> All right, let's get you undone. But you took my minnow. <laughs> Little guy. All right, let's get another goat minnow on here. Got him. <laughs> Just another little hole about two and a half, three feet deep there. Got that one. Hang on there, little buddy. Got him at time. Another baby. There's got to be something right there. Yep, there was. <laughs> uh, hoping it was a little bigger than what I got. Here's a hell of a log jam. Let's see if there's anything in this hole. Got him. Nice one. Just trying to get under that tree. rock bass look at the size of this rock bass nice wow he is beat up too from spawning holy lord that's a nice rock bass right there okay let's let him go There you go. Well, I've only caught a few rock bass this year so far. He probably makes about the fourth or fifth one I've got. Just 
so far sunfish rock bass and smallmouth no sauger or white bass or channel cats got that one no size to him <laughs> i got excited there for a second because he was coming right in thought he might have a little size to him but he didn't he's probably one of the smaller ones of the day that we landed little guy this gulp minnow's about had it i ain't had a tail on there for about 100 casts Got him. Nice one. Well, if I don't fall down and land on him, that's a better fish. Nice little fight out of that guy. Let him go right up in there. There he goes. I'm almost done fishing, guys, and I'm seriously trying to get as much as I can out of this gulp minnow so I don't have to put another one on because we're heading back to the truck fishing back downstream now. Got that one. Come on. Got him. Pretty good fighting little fish, but it looks like another sunfish. Yep. Man, look how pretty these guys are in here. Can't get over that. There he is. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you learned something from the video. Um, had a lot of fun weeding this creek this morning. We was only out there for an hour and a half, probably went up about a mile. Caught a lot of fish, caught a sunfish, caught a um, caught a rock bass, and several smallmouths. A couple of nice, decent smallmouths. Berkeley Gulp Alive um, in the jar there I like, and I always like the uh, chartreuse ones. Chartreuse Shad. is I use that in clear water, stained water, it doesn't matter. They always, they, they just eat it up. It's a really good lure um light action setup berkeley series c series crappie stick seven foot two light action six pound braid on here suffix braid and a four pound fluorocarbon leader to a trout magnet jig head you can see this here gulp minnow they don't last long but you try to get the most you can out of it this one's tore the heck up it's lost its tail a long time ago but uh Got about a four to five foot, four to five foot fluorocarbon leader. And uh, yeah, a lot of fun. All right, guys, um, make sure you're subscribed and we will catch you on the next lake.